we are going to take a look at a, uh, a compact all right and um, see how we can get into the hard drive area and uh, some pretty good good news with uh, on this uh, it can be upgraded to Windows 7 so it is a good computer uh, kind of thick it's on the thicker side all right uh, but um, it, it has a CD-ROM drive, CD-RW drive. I don't know what, what really that is. I uh, didn't take a close look at it, but it says compact disc, so at least a CD drive, and uh, a lot of good stuff on it. So let's take a look underneath. Okay, to access the battery, you're going to pull this tab here. It's going to unlock. You got a little clip, stick a nail. That's about the easiest thing to get get a hold of in, inside. So you could probably buy a replacement uh, battery off of eBay if you need to. Uh, very, uh, very easy uh, purchase, uh, and uh, they're probably the cheapest there. Uh, you got to put it in the right way too, and that locks in. Okay, um, the panels here. You have three panels, and um, there's one, two, three. This is the hard drive. There's no screw. No screw was in this. I removed the screws over here. You're going to need a, a small Phillips head screwdriver to do this. Now these guys are a little, uh, these two are kind of difficult to get off. This guy's pretty easy. You pull it back and you grab, put your nail underneath. It was easy uh, and it comes out. All right, so this is an ATA hard drive uh, and uh, you unscrew the, uh, there's a screw missing there, but you unscrew two screws there, two screws there, slide this out, put another one in and pop it right back in. Very easy to do, very easy to upgrade. And the idea that this can actually take Windows 7, you may want a larger hard drive in there uh, than what comes in. A 20 gig hard drive came with this uh, this computer. This is a, a series uh, SP, I'm sorry, series PP2140. Uh, and uh, most of their uh, most of their computers, uh, this model uh, is arranged this way. Now, um, over here, you need to take this, push down, and slide back. And it's kind of tough to get this out because there's two clips here and two clips on each side here and you have to try and pry this up and I found sticking a screwdriver in here and lifting up and it's not going to do it this time for me you gotta try and get underneath and you can see it's kinda of hard to do uh, get underneath and get your nails and you figure on Q it would, it would do it <laughs> This isn't good. Um, there we go. And that's where your CMOS battery is. A very small one, unique. It might be hard to find one to replace, and that's where your wireless network is. Uh, unfortunately, um, the other side is the same way. You slide this in, and you push it this way to lock in and put your screw back in. This side over here, we're going to pull this way, and hopefully this is going to come up easier. Because there's no thumb area to get or finger area to get underneath and actually uh, by me doing this you can actually learn that it is difficult there we go to get underneath there's your memory this has 512 megs of RAM 2 times 256 I already did, did a diagnostics on this and it worked absolutely beautifully so it is a good computer it's an older one it's Windows XP sticker on the front and underneath my uh, business card there's an authenticity key for Windows XP so um, somebody had put Windows 7 on here not the genuine copy it's the beta uh, what first came out uh, so um, I'm going to boot that up show you all the device drivers and everything works with uh, Windows 7 that it can be worked on alright so let's go ahead and turn it over and start it up alrighty we have uh, power right there and we're going to hit the power button and start it up okay that yeah this is a uh, that's the sign of the uh, the beta version that was sent out before uh, Windows was actually, actually was, Windows 7 was actually released So we're working at the speed uh, comparable to um, any other uh, computer that was probably prior to 2000, 
what is it, 2008 loading up. So it does have an ATA hard drive in it, which is slower than the SATA drive, the access time, the seek time. But the, the idea I want to show you is that you can upgrade this, and all the device drivers work. This is 7 Ultimate Edition. And see these words down here? It's built uh, as, as the, uh, yeah, see it's saying uh, get a genuine copy, ask me later. I hit ask me later. Okay, and uh, I'm going to close this. Alright, so uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, copy is not genuine. That's not what we want to look at. Um, I can tell they've been using it for a while because Missoula Firefox is on there. Uh, we're going to click in here. Uh, you heard sound. Sound is good. There's no wireless on this that I could see. And uh, even in devices, uh, do, just type in device. Manager. Unfortunately, uh, with one that's not a genuine, uh, genuine built uh, version of Windows, you can't really do any up updates on it. You can't put uh, Microsoft Security Essentials on there or anything like that. But you see there's no question marks in here, no asterisks. All the device drivers are working. And here's the network adapter. And there's only one. It's fast to use Ethernet. You have to tether to an Ethernet. There's no wireless built to this. So um, so that's good. There's a that shows the batteries. Okay, the computer. Alright, this is a 32 bit uh, um, uh, that's standard uh, graphics card. Alright, so maybe go to uh, now HP's website and see if you can get the actual video card on this. But but it um, but it works good. So it, the idea is that um, these this old computer can actually uh, t handle Windows 7, and uh, you don't have to toss it away. Just uh, you know, find a way to upgrade your computer, upgrade the hard drive some, and you have a good working computer. Hope you like the video. Uh, subscribe, see a lot more. There's all sorts of different kinds of videos on my channel.